So hi, I'm going to present the interplanetary specifications. The slides were mostly done by Robin, so thank you. <laughs> so we have a website, specs.ipfs.tech. Very nice. There's a QR code. <laughs> and it looks like this. So <laughs> uh, we have some basic specifications for now. We only have the architecture, meta specifications, uh, HTTP gateways, and the IPNS. Uh, specifications, which might get updated soon. And yeah, so why did we do this? Why standards? So, well, it should be possible to implement something without having to look at Kubo and other things. <laughs> so in the long term, documentation will be better than code because code might be have bugs, might not be clearly readable for everyone. So documentation is always good. Um, we will also be able to maintain a clear track record of everything that all the consensus or the decisions that were made. And we will also support better test writing. Uh, for example, for the gateway, we already have some work in progress uh, for the conformance, uh, yeah, for the conformance test that Piotr talked about yesterday. And yeah, it's also a good idea, uh, a good uh, way to make it clear to bridge to other systems. So, what are the goals of this very small project? Well, small but <laughs> small in size for now, but it's going to be big. We hope uh, project. <laughs> Well, to look good and give visibility to the specifications because before this, they were just in a repository, markdown files, no one, well, it's not something nice to look at and people are not going to look for it. And if we have a website, it's easier and it's an easier way to reference the specifications. Uh, but at the end of the day, we keep it simple. It's still mostly markdown. It has some uh, add-ons uh, that are specified, by the way. <laughs> And it has table links and reference management, and we support the typical specification features, such as definition, references, the keywords from the RFC 2119. And yeah, we, we will be progressively adding more tooling in order to make it better. So if you want to participate on this project, you can see the repository for the specifications at IPFS slash specs, the generator, which is IPFS slash spec generator. How creative. And you can read the specs for specs which is yeah, mostly marked down with some additions. Or you can also just copy paste some spec and figure it out. And you can just run make watch and it will work. And yeah, that was a very short talk. So we're now on track again. <laughs> uh, what do you need? What do I need? <laughs> it's all done. You don't need any help. What's next? Write, Write more specs. specs. What's, what's that? Dark mode. Dark mode. Dark. dark mode? We had dark mode, but it was not very good, so we had to remove it before releasing it. Coming <laughs> <laughs> Yes. We'll bring it back. Yes. And yeah. Is there any additions to the site they're planning to make? Or yes, there's some aware of? updates we want to move. We want to add the IP IPs, which Lytle is going to talk about in like a minute. Okay. Um, yeah, there's some other tweaks to make to the website, but it's mostly working well. So, uh, and what add is, more specs. <laughs> uh, can the same spec generator be used outside of IPIP? Yes, that's the goal. And I think yeah, we're, we're, we're uh, in talks about using that to do specs.libp2p. I think probably next week we're going to start working on that. Um, I also have like a cool thing to bring out of storage about using that for multi-formats. We'll see how that intersects with the ITF thing. Um, if IPLD, IPNI want to put their specs on this, we can, you know, this is, this is meant to be generic, so we can, we can absolutely reuse it. Um, and the working group, working group can work on the spec for specs um, and help everyone get this moving along. Yeah, I was kind of wondering that, should the working group, working group also be a place that's surfacing where all the different specs no, no. are. Um, that I, I <laughs> We're keeping the name. I should shut up some days. <laughs> um, so um, I don't think that the working group, working group needs to like do a list of specs. I think we can have a list of spec sites. Um, I, my thinking was to basically in the footer of all these things, uh, have like the sort of like like a web ring kind of thing <laughs> for those who are old enough to remember so that we can everyone can have like their own theme and their own like kind of community for each like segment but also they are all like tied together yeah. awesome.
awesome. Thank you.